Hello, and welcome back to Tutorial Grounds. Today I will be recapping a 2019 drama movie called, Queen of Hearts. The movie begins in a lawyer, who is attractive, is depicted as working on three legal cases related to rape and violent abuse against young women. And is married to Peter, a doctor, and together they have two twin daughters named Frida and Fanny. Peter also has a teenage son named Gustav from his previous marriage, who lives with his mother Rebecca in Sweden. The family has planned for Gustav to move in with Anne and Peter, but upon his arrival, Anne starts to flirt with him, causing tension between Gustav and Peter. Gustav, who is still a minor, wants to move out on his own, which further adds to the conflict. One day, Anne returns home to find that there has been a burglary. After reporting the burglary to the police, and discovers an item from her stolen bag in Gustav's laundry. She confronts Gustav with the evidence and realizes that he was responsible for the robbery. However, instead of turning him over to the authorities, and strikes a deal with Gustav. She promises to keep his crime a secret if he helps out more around the house. Following this agreement, Gustav becomes more involved in the family's social life and even reads the Danish version of Alice's adventures in Wonderland to Anne's young twin daughters, which Anne also enjoys. As time goes by, Gustav invites his girlfriend Amanda over to their home one night. While they engage in sexual activity, Anne overhears them and becomes sexually aroused. Peter and Anne are socializing with their guests on their balcony, but Anne excuses herself from the group to take Gustav to a bar. The family celebrates the birthday of Frida and Fanny, and at one point, Gustav kisses and while they are alone. Unfortunately, Anne's sister Lena sees the incident and becomes upset. She leaves the party, and Anne is worried that Lena will tell Peter about what happened. As a result, Anne decides to end her sexual relationship with Gustav. Gustav and Peter go on a trip to their cabin in the woods. Upon their return, Peter informs him that Gustav has expressed a desire to attend a boarding school and has also revealed to his father about his sexual relationship with Anne. Initially, Anne denies the accusation and becomes hysterical, claiming that Gustav despises her for breaking up Peter and Rebecca's marriage. However, she eventually admits that Gustav was telling the truth and also reveals that Gustav was responsible for the burglary. And Peter and Gustav have a conversation where Anne continues to deny the affair but eventually Gustav leaves to attend the boarding school. At a later time, Gustav confronts Anne in her office and threatens to report their illicit relationship, but Anne dismisses his claims, insisting that he is not a credible witness and would not be believed. Gustav later shows up at Anne's house, seeking his father, but she rejects him and leaves him crying on the ground. During a party for Anne, Peter receives a call informing him that Gustav has gone missing from his school. The police call Peter to Stockholm where they discover Gustav's body near the cabin, where he had died from exposure to the cold. And tries to console Peter and tells him that it was not his fault, but he becomes violent and silences her. The family, including Peter, Anne, and their two daughters, travel in silence in their car, presumably to Gustav's funeral. The movie ends here, don't forget to support the channel by liking the video and subscribing to the channel.